today we are installing the OEM Audio Plus speaker upgrades for the GR86. Nice carbon fiber speakers. So to start, disconnect the positive terminal. The nut on it is a 10 millimeter. Just tuck it out of the way so it doesn't hit the positive. And then if you would like, do the negative also, but it's fine to just do the positive. So after you disconnect the battery, you have to take these covers off and the door panel off. So if you have a little pick tool like this, this one does perfect. There's a little exposed lip right there. Grab the tool, pop it up, drag it along, and just keep prying. Once you get that up, the speakers are exposed. I've never pulled anything apart in this car, so I don't know exactly how to do it. It looks like there's a clip on the back. Let's see if I can get in there for you guys to see. And then two bolts. They look like tens. Give me a minute to pull these out and give you guys some more information. Okay guys, so the clip is on the back. And I will try to give you a little demonstration. So the cover's in like this. If you rotate it counterclockwise, 90 degrees, the harness will be exposed. And then what I did was the same panel popper I used to take the cover off. If you slide it in right behind this piece here it's slightly exposed it will depress the lock and then you can just pull the harness out and then this was just sitting in here so i used the panel popper and just pried around it you can see that this right here is a flexible lock tab so if you get in there pop this back and pry the tweeter out then once it gets past the little lock section it'll pop right out so these are tens just break them loose this one's gonna be difficult because of the glass so I would recommend using a wrench on it. Once you get those bolts out, comes out and then it's got the same style of clip. So it's hard to see, but that's what I was talking about with the tweeter. That little exposed area, you just get the panel clip in there, push it, and you can pull it out. So this is really the only confusing part, because there are no instructions. You do get this nicely done little harness adapter, but only one end gets plugged in, and I have no idea which end is supposed to be plugged in. But that's also the good thing about speakers is you do know if you plugged into the wrong one but that's a side-by-side -side comparison stock oem audio plus and then you just connect the harness in tuck all the wiring down and then you can bolt up the speaker so 
I currently have it plugged into the right side. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna assume that it's left side because it's a left speaker and then right side for the right speaker. I don't know. We can confirm it after the install and audio test. Now for the tweeter, you get that lined up with the notch or the cutout and then you can just pop it into place. Super simple. And because it can only go one way, there is no question as to how that guy gets clipped in. Alright, so I just did a audio test with the left side hooked up into the left side of the speaker and passenger side right side hooked up to the right side of the speaker it all seems to work fine so honestly i don't think it matters so right now we're just buttoning up the front speakers the tweeters are plugged in and clipped into place then after these are tightened we move on to the door speakers so for the doors all i know for a fact that there is is this piece up here you need to get into i just broke my panel clip remover but you got that with the phillips and then inside the door here there's that little notch so you get into it no let me try the other end it helps if your panel tool isn't broken but then two phillips there So after you get those two screws out, that screw out, come over here, use a pry tool, you can get in, pop, there's two clips there, and just come down, keep popping the clips, and then like most door panels, it'll come up, and then you can just pull it right out. Then once you have it out, you can pull all of those out, disconnect that wire harness, and pull the entire door panel off. Or if you have a buddy, have them hold it up out of the way, because there's only three screws to do. I don't have anyone here to help me, so I'm just resting it on the trim piece of the corner glass right there still have access to the bottom and then I can hold it up and do the top two and disconnect the harness. Once you have the speaker in, just take the harness, clip it into place, tighten your three screws down. All right, now once you have the speaker tightened down, you just rest the top of the door card in place. That'll pretty much make it line up. You can peek through here and see if the clips line up i highly recommend doing that you can't see it in the photo really i mean you can kind of see the bottom if these two line up and the tops lined up nine times out of ten the rest will line up and then you just pop it into place and then go all the way around and they're all in then you tighten those three back. So something I was very interested in doing, sorry, is weighing the OEM audio system and comparing it to 
OEM Audio Plus. So this is eight pounds with all of the packaging. Well, not all of it. A tiny box was in there with some other styrofoam they got thrown away. But it's eight pounds for the stock sound system. And when I weighed the OEM Audio Plus system, the box it came in says it's 10 pounds. It's not 10 pounds. It's more like five and a half, 5.6 pounds. So we're saving, call it a pound and a half of weight or two and a half pounds of weight. So overall, not massive weight savings, but to get weight savings for a audio upgrade, that's pretty cool. Stop playing with me. I got this thing right, y'all need one. It's you, it's